Hey Parsis, sorry to do the May generals, yes it is the mid middle of May, I've had a lot on and I actually had a, a full weekend off to myself which was great, uh, I've never done that because I, I end up reading all the time, um, so I'm not going to be working weekends anymore, I've decided I'm giving myself a break. So these will be extended, you can find the extended on the Patreon link in the description box below if you're watching me on YouTube, just click the more button, it'll drop it all down, my social media links, uh, Patreon link, etc. Um, and you get all the extended so you can check your sun, moon, your rising and your Venus. Um, if you're watching me on TikTok, my YouTube link is on my TikTok bio and my Patreon should be at the bottom of this thing, I've just put the link in because... Uh, not really sure how I'm liking TikTok at the minute. I'm just getting used to it, so I don't really know what I'm doing on it. So you're just getting me, being me, basically. So, Pisces, we're still in that Mercury retrograde post shadow, but things should be starting to get easier. Uh, we've had that Scorpio full moon and that lunar eclipse, massive release energies, massive. Um, and everyone I, I know is, has been like going through, you know, a big energetic release, if anything, releasing themselves from things that no longer serve them. There's been a lot of endings, a lot of transformational energies. And it is a water sign, you know, very emotional. You are a water sign. So let's have a look at passes. In the extended, I clarify everything in the card and go deeper into the reading as to what's coming up. Let's see what's going on now from the passes. So we've got the five of wands, the five of wands in reverse. So it's like kind of coming away from drama or you've kind of walked away from something. Maybe you are you kind of like learning to walk away, but I feel like there has been a dramatic ending or an ending to drama, which is always nice to see. Say don't get involved in drama. So the main energy of your reading is a page of pentacles. So it's trustworthy information coming through. That could be in the form of a text, an email. That could be from a friend, a partner, or a career advancement. I wanted to say advancement. I don't know why. So someone could be waiting for a job offer, passes. But I do feel like there's a financial element to that. You could be dealing with an earth sign, Capricorn, Taurus, Virgo, or you may have earth in your chart. What's crossing that is the Ten of Cups. So... The challenge is that to get to the Ten of Cups, the, that's the emotional fulfilment, it's a happy family, you know, straight away I want to look at the house, so someone could be waiting on news regarding like house sales or new tenancies, that type of thing, looking for a new residence, that type of thing, but it's all about your emotional well-being, where you are um, in life, in your Ten of Cups, so we need to get you to the Ten of Cups. Why is it coming around now? We've got the Page of Cups, which is new people, new opportunities, um, it's, it's, it's like something, it's something immature, but not in the sense of being immature, if you get what I mean. It's something like a new beginning. Uh, some of my past seeds are planning on actually creating distance, like moving um, to like a complete different area. That's I thing. I feel like you're getting back into your water energy. Um, some of my past seeds are really feeling drawn to water at the moment as well. Yeah, I feel like you've been saving up for something. You've been having to like really knuckle down with your finances, maybe even like kind of pinching the purse a little bit, uh, holding on to the purse strings, that type of thing. But it's working, it's for a reason, you're working towards something. The Eight of Pentacles. So in the recent past, it's like you've been trying to get on top of your finances, you've been saving up, you know, you've been building yourself up as well. There's an element of recovery when it's with the Eight of Pentacles. So recovery emotionally as well. Um, some of my passes have been like kind of throwing them into the finances. Um because of some kind of emotional state that's been going on. Or your finances have been bringing on some kind of like anxiety, that type of thing. Yeah, because at present, we've got the anxiety card. We've got the eight of swords. So you do have eight, eight. So you are ending a karmic cycle. And I feel like these, you're waiting on some kind of information. You're a bit anxious because it's not come through yet. Or it could be a message off somebody and that type of thing. So you feel like your hands are tired at the minute. The blindfold's on. You're all up in your head. Because you've worked so hard for this, so you've worked hard to get there, to get to this point, you're waiting on it, but it's coming in because you've got this like new offer with the page of pentacles and the page of cups. It's trustworthy information. It's it's something you can trust. Maybe like say if you've been hurt in a past relationship and you're in a new one now, you know, maybe you're a bit anxious, am I gonna get hurt in this one? That type of thing. Going forward, you've got a wheel of fortune, Parsees. So I do see that you are all up in your head at the minute and you're kind of worrying. It could be financial and emotional, but I feel like it's both. I feel like your finances and your emotions are a bit juggly at the minute. You're feeling like your hands are tired. 
you need to get somewhere, you want to get somewhere, but you've got that wheel of fortune coming up. Your power in the situation is the Three of Wands. I love this. The Three of Wands is that knowing and believing and having faith that what's meant for you is never going to pass you by. It's coming in. And that's what they're telling you. Through the rest of May, you've got to trust and believe that what you have been manifesting, what you have been working so hard to get to, will come. It will come. You've just gone into a bit of a fear mode at the moment, but that could be because we've had that Scorpio full moon with the lunar eclipse and the Mercury retrograde, messing things up and things like that. We're slowly coming out of that energy now. The outside influence to that is we've got the Six of Pentacles. Finances definitely do play a part in this, but also people, being around people who want to gift you with the same amount of money, time and effort that you're putting into something. Um, I do feel like you're waiting on something. Either waiting on a person or waiting on a payout. Could be a legal situation. Um, I will go into all the balance uh, with the scales there. It's balancing things out. Um, some of my parties, there's a charity involved around you as well. Or there's some kind of charity that you will be involved in. Um, I'm getting the charity card. In your hopes and fears, we've got teamwork makes the dream work. So take it as it resonates because it is general read I'm reading for the collective. So this could be, again, within relationships or work. It's looking really good within both. It's just showing that you're very anxious at the moment of what's going to come. It feels like you've no control. Um, you've worked for it and now it's like, let it just pay off. And I feel like it's just, just kind of sit with it and let it go and just like... You know, you've done all that work and I can see why, you know. Um, I've just remembered that in the UK, like, a lot of kids at the moment, they're doing, like, GCSEs and stuff like that. So maybe that's an element. If you're a teenager and you're watching me now, it could be, you know, I've done all this work. Am I going to get there? Now I'm all anxious because I'm doing the tests or exams, wherever you are, that type of thing. You've got this energy of just knowing and believing and having faith in yourself because it shows that you've definitely been putting the work in. And your outcome is the justice card. So you get them scales. It's a massive, yes, Libra energy. If this is about financial legalities, that type of thing, it's there. You've got signed contracts. It's all coming in for you. It's it's nice energy, Parsis. It's, uh, it's a win. This is a massive win. So I just want to look, before I go into the extended, I want to look at, I wanted to look at why you're anxious. And now you've just got the karma card karma balance and justice and for some reason all the way through your cards as soon as i saw that it was all about karma balance and justice um legal documents karma you're ending karmic cycles with the 8 8 being there balance is coming into your life it's a really good reading you know your outcome is that getting that balance that's what you're anxious about it's like is it, is it gonna am i gonna get it yeah because you're self-sabotaging yourself at the minute you're self-sabotaging. You need to get out of your head and stop overthinking. I want to look at the Wheel of Fortune. Oh, look at that. The Wheel of Fortune, you've got healing in the inner child. Some of you could be going to like family courts, that type of thing. But then again, it, you could be going right. I could go really deep here and there could be something from childhood. I'm not going to go that deep because it's a collective, you know. But it's something healing a situation. Um... And then you've got unity, people working together, but this is you, this is your feminine and masculine part, kind of transcending unity, working together, being with people who want to work with you. Again, I keep getting like a charity or an organisation, that type of energy. It's, um... yeah, you've got to let go of the control tactics. Try You can't control the outcome, and I feel like that's what's, getting on your nerves it's like you're waiting for someone else's decision with the justice energy or someone to mark your decisions or um you know if you're doing exams test that type of thing it's you know you've really worked hard for something but it's like feels like something's out of your control now they're telling you to let it go the wheel of fortune and justice card is telling you that it's coming in for you so in the extended i'm going to dig a lot deeper and find out exactly what's going on here so if i leave you if this is where i'm leaving you i'm going to leave you with lots of love and if i'm meeting you on the extended i will see you up there now bye